In today's video, we'll take a look at a new add-on application called RGSX, or Retro Game Sets Extra, that can be installed within Botocera to allow you to easily download your BIOS and games within Botocera. Games can be downloaded for many classic consoles and home computer systems. Let's get started. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. RGSX is a retro game downloader written in Python, and it can be added to your existing Bodicera installation. If you don't already have Bodicera installed, I have videos on how to set it up on both a PC and a Raspberry Pi, which I'll have linked in the description below. From this point forward, I'll assume you have Bodicera already installed. RGSX also supports Retrobat, however in this video we'll focus on Bodicera. Keep in mind, RGSX is an application that allows you to easily download and install games that you own. It is in no way affiliated with the Botocera team, and it's totally up to you if you want to use it and how you want to use it. That said, let's dive in. For all the details on RGSX, including the source code, we'll visit the GitHub page. RGSX can be installed on Botocera, Newly, or Retrobat, and it will use about 100 megabytes. On that page is information on how to install it, set it up, and use it. Let's go ahead and switch over to Botocera and check it out. Here I have Botocera installed on a Raspberry Pi 5 with a clone Xbox 360 controller connected, as well as a keyboard and mouse, which will be needed for the initial setup. Press F1 on the keyboard to enter Botocera's file manager, Click on Applications and double click the Xterm icon to bring up a terminal window. You'll then enter this curl command to download and run the installation script. I'll place the command in the description below as well. After typing the command, press Enter. The download and installation will then begin and it'll take about a minute. Once done, type Exit in the terminal and press Enter. From the File menu, Select Close Window to return back to Botocera. Press Start on your controller, move down to Game Settings, then Update Game List. Select Yes to update the game list, and that's it. RGSX is now installed. Now when you navigate over to Ports, select that, and then you'll find the option for RGSX. Once you launch it, the first time you'll likely need to map the buttons on your controller. It doesn't recognize the mappings you may have already set up for Botocera. For this, just follow the on-screen instructions by pressing and holding the D-pad buttons for up, down, left, and right. And then map your A, B, X, Y buttons if using an Xbox-style controller or the equivalent for the PlayStation controller. Then start, select, the left top button, the right top button, and the left trigger and the right trigger. Once all the buttons have been mapped, it will apply any updates and the UI will start up. Now we're in the RGSX UI. If you select the BIOS option, you'll be able to easily download and install all the BIOS files for a given version of Botocera or Retrobat. I already have them installed and the UI lets you know that. There is a large number of games you can download and for just about all the different systems that are out there. If you look at the top middle, the number in parentheses is the number of games available for that system, such as 1,396 that are available for Dreamcast, and more than 7,500 for Final Burn Neo arcade games. PlayStation 1 has 2,057 available. If we select that and press down on the D-pad, well, it'll take forever to scroll through the list, Instead, you can page through much faster using the left and right trigger buttons. Many of the games listed will be for the European region, some for the US. I'll go ahead and select Galaga Destination Earth, and it'll immediately begin downloading the game. Once downloaded, press the B button to go back, select Yes to exit, then update the game list like we did earlier. Navigate into PlayStation and launch the game. Thank you. 
After downloading your games, you won't immediately have the game artwork and metadata available. You also want to use the scraper. Just press start, move down to scraper. I'll use screen scraper for the source. Make sure PlayStation is selected in the systems included section and select scrape now. Depending on how many games, this can take some time, but the scraper runs in the background. Once it's done, simply update the game list and you'll see the artwork, description, and other metadata for your games. There are a few other options I'd like to make you aware of. Within the RGSX UI, you can press the start button to bring up settings. Here you can change the language, remap your controller buttons if needed, and under display you can make various changes including the number of systems to show per row, the font type, size, and other items. In the games menu, you can view your download history, select a custom game source, or update the game list. In settings, you can disable the background music and a few more advanced options that are described in more detail on the GitHub page. We've covered the installation, how to download your games, and how to customize RGSX. I'd like to say a big thank you to the developers of this tool. I'm sure many are going to find it very helpful. Please share in the comments below what you think of this tool. If you found the video helpful, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you appreciate concise content like this, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.